What do you do with all these druids in an air attack? I have never seen this, but he will start it off with a fireball. In our last video, we saw HTM taking on VN Esporting for the very first hard mode double perfect war that I've ever witnessed. And now today we advance into the upper bracket final. Synchronic, the number one seed to this year's world championship is taking on the newest golden ticket holder at the number two seed for the world championship that took uh, VM Legacy spot. It is gonna be HTM on the other side. Let's kick into this with Philip. Start us off. A giant arrow shoots across the base there. Hits the invisible tower by the town hall. Gets the final four for the dragons. And the queen should split to the outside of the base there. And the dragons will advance forward here with a side-by-side -side rage. Early ward ability catching all of those dragons as they make their way to the air defense. Slammer over to the side to go support with the king. King under Phoenix able to advance a little bit further, but not going to make it too far into the base right there. And the slammer does get hit by a black air bomb and opens up a little bit early. But he will freeze up the monolith and the multi inferno as he approaches the core of the base there. We need to get the dragons to destroy the clan castle and the monolith. I feel like he might have another option to be able to get through the town hall, but we don't want to use that option. Ideally, the dragons can take it or the queen can take it, but I don't think the queen will have the punch to take it with the defensive king right there. And he will he will attempt it anyways. He has the rage down. He leads the queen's healers with the rage there. She's not under rage on her healers just yet, but they will get rage now. He'll poison the defensive king since he did not need the poison for the defensive CC. He handles it down, and if the queen takes the town hall, this is a triple through and through, but the RC wrapping around the outside of the base there. The dragon... The Super Dragon and the Queen all tag team that Town Hall down. And it will be an opening triple for this Upper Bracket Finals Hard Mode match. Nice job, Philip. We'll pass it over to our Defending World Champions. We'll see what they got to open up. But we also have player cameras. So let's turn on the player cam for Pato and let's get into their first attack. I missed it for the open attack there for Philip. That's okay. Hope you guys will forgive me. We got the Queen dive to the far right side of the base there. Looks like she popped a giant arrow that shot through the core of the base. Took out a couple of the battle builders and not much else there. A little bit on the far, far back end of the base there. It just shot through the core. And he will have the Queen join with the King. And Root Riders will enter into the middle of the base. Got the Ward ability, giving him the Eternal Tome and the Healing Tome. Overgrowth at the second half of the, the Town Hall compartment. But he left the Town Hall out of the Overgrowth, which is definitely... A bit abnormal. Usually we try to overgrowth the town hall, but maybe because it's hard, but he doesn't want to take that risk. But that means he's going to take the blast and the poison, and he's just going to have to soak it right there. Is the turtle tome, or the healing tome, I mean, still active? I can't really tell. I think he's just ended up taking a bunch of extra damage right there, but he had druids in the mix as well. So he was able to delay the ward ability for a little bit, and that definitely will help cushion the blow there a bit, but he has a lot of base left here. Want this back up. Queen has broken the wall there. She'll step her way through and get the support there into the ball. But he needs to get this Eagle Artillery down. Because if you're taking the Town Hall Blast and the Poison, and then you're taking the Eagle Artillery late in the attack, then you have definitely taken a big blow to your overall damage or your overall HP that you have overall in the attack. But it looks like he easily powers through. RC able to push through the back of the base there with the hog pump to haste file. It will be a triple to open up here for HTM. We got a tie war out of the gate. It is a three-second split right now into HTM's favor. Einstein, gonna click in. Pause for a minute there. Gotta get a drink of water after you press attack. You know, you got. <laughs> what? Well, you could have done that before. But whoa, 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 whoa! What is, what is this? What is? What is this army? This is this is ridiculous. He's got four druids. He's got a Lalo. He's got rocket blues. He's got a bunch of lightning. Lots of quakes. Okay, this has definitely caught my attention. What do you do with all these druids in an air attack? I have never seen this. But he will start it off with a fireball. Let's go! Okay! That's how we kick it off here. He's got the quakes. He used the lightning up at the top side to get the defensive queen out of the way. And then he combined the fireball with the earthquakes and his invisibility to wipe out that entire section. Leave the town hall very, very island off in the middle of the base there, all the way across the left side of the base. So I guess he needs to get the heroes in to go secure it. Otherwise, he's going to be in trouble here. But the druids are going in with the queen and the warden. Or just, just kidding, that's the world champion. Road Champion, Warden, and Druids trickling in the Druids. But we need to get a Eternal Tome. Just kidding, we don't have an Eternal Tome because we used a Fireball, right? We got the Rage Gem, though. So the, the Hogs get wrecked there. But the King of the Queen do a good job over the far right side of the base there. The Queen going to make her way into the Monarch. She's got her ability there. She'll pop it, use the Invisible Defile, and the Healing Tome to be able to power through that. But he needs to get the Town Hall down. His Road Champion fell short. Warden is still working on it. The Druids are keeping the Warden alive. He turns it into a pseudo Warden walk, and he will get it done. Einstein living up to that name. What a crazy, crazy attack. That's how you get it done in hard mode. 
I I've never seen druids used like that, but it worked. It was effective. And the base is done. Look at the attack time in this. That is very, very fast for hard mode. He finished that in, it looks like about a minute and 18, minute and 19 seconds. That is mad impressive. But now, let's go back over to HTM. Leo is going to send in some dragons for our next attack. And hopefully we see some more interesting attacks before that is the war. But dragons are super effective, even on hard mode. They're one of the strongest attacks in the game right now. On normal mode, as are the root riders. But we will shoot a giant arrow through the core of the base. And did he hit a sweeper? Looking pretty sweeper is missing here. Uh, I think he must have got a sweeper just south of the town hall. He didn't get the backside air defense there, but the queen is able to get the air defense right near her entry after she shot the giant arrow. The dragons will take advantage of the funnel. He's got a bat spell and a stone slammer over the far left of the base there to try to get through the air defense there. And that's seeming to get the job done, but the slammer does end up getting targeted, does open up early. And on defense, we're seeing a super dragon. So I guess we don't necessarily need to destroy the clan castle building itself. It's not a priority here, but he will overgrowth out the core of the base. And prevent any... I guess if there was a sweeper, he could overgrowth it if he missed his giant arrow. So it was like a contingency plan kind of built into this. But he will power through everything on the top side of the overgrowth. The queen will get the over... Or we'll get the wall break over to the right. The king went to the far back end of the base there, which is the thing that we're seeing a lot in these dragon attacks, where we have the king and the royal champion attacking separately from the pack. Like, the queen and the slammer form the funnels for the dragons. The dragons push the core. And then the king and the royal champion... Go ahead and meet the, everybody on the backside with a bunch of super barbarians. This is the most standard dragon approach here, the most effective dragon approach, and it is another triple for HTM. That dragon attack clocked in at a minute and 13 seconds, and that means that we have a total of eight seconds split between the teams right now in the favor of HTM. So they have the lead, and now we'll see if Synchronic can get it back. We will have the... Wait, did Synchronic have it at the start? I don't remember. Either way, it looks like we'll have Simon going in with an Electric Dragon at the very bottom. The Rue Riders will go into the far right side, and the E-Drag will funnel the King inside of the base. The Queen seems to be going with the Rue Riders. That, that little... Uh, there's like a... I swear there's a little like graphical glitch that is keeps like flashing my screen every once in a while. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's like, like somebody's cape or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, everybody, everybody will see that. Uh, but either way, he will keep up moving with the Rogue Champion, joining in almost right away with his main group there. A couple of Druids were in the mix there. We were able to delay his board ability. Has not popped it yet. However, did the King get enough value here? I'm not sure if he did. Looks like he ended up falling short there. Only got a couple of the buildings around the jump spell and left up a lot of the important ones. But as soon as the Druids transform into their Bears, then he pops the board ability. And then the Healing Tome will keep every top top and... We'll see how far he can push into the back end here with the overgrowth lock at the town hall. I think it seems to be moving mostly smooth right now. A bunch of super barbarians going to the far back end of the base. We'll start to collapse in, but he needs to get past the defensive world champion. The headers are on their way. Did they get her? I think they got her on that side of the wall there. And he does have the super minion right there. Going to get this expo down potentially before the air defense claims it. But everybody else is wrapping around the far bottom side of the base. He's not out of this yet. It's actually slowed down pretty significantly. He's got a queen ability and he has a world champion ability. The queen ability will tag the town hall. The RC ability... We'll get the Monolith down. They drop at the same time. Push the RC to the left side. Rage up the RC. Get the Hogs as well. And the Queen will step through the poison. And she gets the multi. Or the RC gets the multi. It's over. But look at the time here. I mean, we saw that HTM... Well, you're talking about the number one and number two seed to the World Championship right now. So if there's any teams that could give us our second double perfect war, then these are those teams. Even though hard mode is quite difficult. But it is a triple. And we'll see if HTM can match it. A jump in the middle of the base. Very early on that jump, I guess. But it looks like he's got a natural funnel with the shape of the walls over to the side for the queen to be able to walk her way in if he gets a wall break for her. It will be Valkyries. Vernal has been loving these Valkyrie attacks. Putting the root riders away and breaking out just all Valkyries and then using jump spells to direct them into the base. We got the big, big group of Valkyries advancing towards the jump spell right now, stuck by the Ice Golems and using... Sometimes, sometimes they use the Druids to be able to keep them alive right here, but he didn't use any Druids. He just went with the Apprentice Warden and then the Grand Warden. He powers through the Town Hall into the core. He ends up having most of the Valkyries split off to the far left side. The Overgrowth wears off and I guess it's... I, did that Overgrowth get enough value right there? It seemed like it was a little bit early. 
It seems like it woke up at a little bit of an inconvenient time, but I think he's fine. Is the Roar Champion, the Hog Puppet, in for the far right side of the base? They're just now passing the Woman of Mark here. He's got the whole base warmed right now, but he's got a lot of low HP troops that could easily get overpowered if things start to turn on him. But I don't think it's going to happen right now. I think it's going to go through. He just got to get past the defensive king, and he's able to reach through and get the buildings without getting the king. The king's chasing everybody else else outside of the base there it is a triple i think i found the glitch that i was talking about during that attack there it's when the defensive king died with his new skin i don't know why it does this it's very distracting for me but watch when he dies right there like <laughs> is that necessary is that necessary for his cape to get 10 times bigger than he is so now with a 13 second average attack time disadvantage after that very fast attack there from bernal Big product has a lot of ground to make up for, and it looks like he will be sending in Electro Dragons, starting with the King of the Queen up at the top, and a Baby Dragon over to the right to funnel them into the wall break. Looks like he had multiple wall breaks there. He's able to get a pretty significant chunk of the base right there open, and the King of the Queen should be able to advance forward to the Eagle Artillery. Spiky Ball shoots over to the right, not to the left, and so the King will go to Giant Conley, get the damage reduction, and the Queen will keep on following. He should be able to get the Eagle Artillery down. Maybe the Queen can survive up there. He's got a Frozen Arrow instead of healing... Our healer puppet right there, but that's fine. If that's enough value, maybe you can get some value out of her and get her through the backside air defense. But I don't know. I think he's going to end up having her go down. Definitely could have got a lot more value out of her with a giant arrow and a healer puppet. Maybe he doesn't have that, though. That's the downside is if you don't have all of the ideal equipment leveled up there, then you're at a disadvantage. That's why, unfortunately, the with the equipment system, it ends up being a bit pay to win. Or maybe it was his choice. Maybe he has it and he just decided not to use it. However... This is not going through for him. This is getting completely shut down. It is going to be a defense. It's leaving a lot of percentage on the board. It needs to gather percentage anywhere it can. Because at this point, they're going to have to bank on a big defense in response. Because this one is going nowhere. General X might have just cost them the war. But then again, this is hard mode. Let's keep in mind, this is hard mode. And hard mode could have the same thing happen very realistically on the other side. And we have seen it happen a lot. So, unfortunate situation here for Synchronic. But they were so far behind on time, I feel like they needed a defense from HTM anyways. And I guess we'll just have to see if they can get it. He's got one more Super Barbarian. He decides to drop it into the very top there. We'll get a test out of the way. Gonna get an extra storage right there. Maybe. No Expo Lux on. It's gonna be an 85% for Synchronic. And now, I guess the pressure's on for HTM. To not throw right now. This attack from Einstein would have been so much more powerful if the Druids would have locked onto the World Champion instead of just following the Warden. Maybe that was a mistake. But it is time now for Selenio. But it is still a really cool attack right there. This one is also going to be breaking out the Druids. Looks like we got Valkyries and Root Riders. And it looks like the King of the Queen will take a jump into the Scattershot compartment. King pops giant gauntlet with the rage vial. Still one of the most popular pieces of equipment. We see a couple people break out the spiky ball, but I still am a very, very big fan of this equipment set here. Except for other low town hall levels. On low town hall levels, the spiky ball is completely broken. Uh, <laughs> on the high town hall levels, I think they're about equivalent though. All right, but he does have the super minions dropping to the far left side of the base throughout the siege breaks. They're going to get the expo down. If they can lock on to the defensive queen to take her out, that would be a huge deal, but she's walking away from them. And so they're not going to break the long range shots on her. So keep an eye on that defensive queen. She could potentially be problems. But over the right side, we see a Tesla pop up. Tesla in the corner. RC works her way in. And he will wrap around the overgrowth to the right side. So because do lock onto the queen, though. They do ultimately get her down. She's not going to be a problem. She's not going to be picking off Rude Riders. But this overgrowth is about to wear off here. We got a couple of defensive heroes on the backside. We got to get the town hall down. And we got to get the monolith down. He's got the rage. He's got two freezes. It looks like he does have a frozen arrow on the queen who's able to shut down a lot of damage from the town hall, but he's standing right in the poison and the blast and has to take it. But he is still got to get past this defensive king. He's got the spell support, I think, to be able to power through. I think he's at a minimum going to get the percentage up. So I think we're going to have to see a defense on the last attack here for Synchronic to have a chance to pull this back. But this one is going through. He holds it together. He had the spell support for the World Champion in the backside of the base there. And that Rage, the Rage and the Freeze combined with the Hog Puppet and Haste file is so critical to get the maximum value out of the World Champion ability. And he easily gets it done. So it is 12 stars. They have the lead. The pressure is now on for Synchronic. And if they triple, 
then I guess we'll see what happens with HTM to close the war because the winner of this match advances to the grand finals of the Liberty Bowl. This has to be a triple. Nothing else short of that will do. But it looks like he will put his faith in the Rue Riders. It's going to be these, these diamond style bases like this with the town hall in a corner and then the symmetrical line down the middle. These ones, in my opinion, are kind of a pain for the Rue Rider attacks because you almost always have to go opposite of the town hall. And then we got an invisibility tower by the town hall. Then they end up becoming very difficult to cross all the way through the base there to get under control. And so a lot of times people try to use the Kui to go to the outside of the base there, and she has to step in and secure the town hall from the outside. But he swarms that area with skeletal spells to try to keep her safe so she can make that approach. And the main force is just going to cross the entire base, deal with everything outside the town hall area. And it is a high risk, high reward approach here. And that's why I get nervous whenever we see this style of base. But this is the style of base that you should be looking for that is anti root rider. These are the bases, in my opinion, that hold the Rubiners the most often. It looks like he will make his way forward. We got a couple tests in the very top corner that he'll have to deal with. He'll rage up and push him for the left side of the base there. He's got the freeze for the town hall. Locking up that damage. And it looks like he will power. Th looks like the Queen doesn't even need to go to the town hall there. It looks like the Ruin is able to survive and be able to power through it anyways. <laughs> Does this feel like hard mode? I, it doesn't really feel like they are treating these bases much different between hard mode and regular mode. I guess the hard mode difference is not slowed him down. It's a triple. He crushed it. 85% is the mark to beat. It will be a double overgrowth Rue Rider attack. And I, I guess he also needs to make sure he does a one star as well. But he will go in with the king and the queen. But a Tesla farm pops and may complicate their fun a little bit there. But the oh, grass skill is on top of that. Okay, king, walk in, walk in. Freezing up there as the expo does a lot of extra damage right there. Lots of traps in that corner. And that is making me nervous there with the king getting a little bit less value. But he's got the giant gauntlet and the rage vial. And he's got the phoenix. So he should be able to stay alive for quite a long time. We've got ice golems and headhunters going his way there. So maybe he won't stay alive for long enough. But he does go to phoenix now. Riders are deployed right on his right flank there. Roar champion and the siege breaks over to the far right side. RC out early into the attack. King taking modifier there. Does go down. Okay, all right. Watch that model within the Eagle Artillery area right there. That could be trouble. The headers drop onto the Queen, and she does get him dealt with before switching over the Ice Golems. Lucky break right there, but the Overgrowth is down, and the, the Rue Riders are splitting. Half of them are going to... Or actually, more than half of them are going to the left there, but one sticks around with the World Champion to the right. Super Me is over the right. Pekka's is still taking on the right side, and he's still got that other Overgrowth, so we can re... He can re-Overgrowth the Town Hall area, and... Keep that off of his back while he goes all the way to the bottom side of the base. Looks like he shifts the the overgrowth over to the left just a little bit to be able to open up a couple of the defenses to be able to get targeted for the far right side. He got past the defensive queen with the RC hog puppet and haze file, but he has to make the return trip to the town hall. Otherwise, he's in trouble. He's got a queen ability. He's got a couple super barbarians. He does have a couple of additional spells right now that he can use to push back in there, but the town hall has to go down. If the town hall doesn't go down, then this attack... And the war will end up swinging. Well, here we go. The final approach here has got the freezes. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. He's got a lot of troops here, but the queen will have to do most of the heavy lifting here. She does have her ability. He does get a step through. Rage up. Freeze up. Town hall goes down. And it is a perfect war for ATM. They got the perfect war in the upper bracket semifinals. They get the perfect war in the upper bracket finals. And now they're advancing to the grand finals of the Liberty Bowl. Congratulations. And I guess we'll see who ultimately ends up meeting them there. Down in the lower bracket, we saw, I told you, uh, VN Esporting dropped down and lost to Project X. We haven't updated the graphic yet, but Imperium Titans beat Tribe Gaming and they're getting ready for a match against Head Start Esports. But it looks like Synchronic is going to drop down the lower bracket and out of the remaining teams down there, they'll face off against the winner. The winner of that will go back and then face HTM in that grand final so hard mode is fun i'm having fun with it the players are definitely adapting to it well and we're seeing a couple more perfect wars than we were before but we still got a lot of tournament to go so hit the like button subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video